Have you ever noticed that some people adopt new products or behaviors sooner than others? In 1962, Everett Rogers, a professor of rural psychology, developed a theory called the diffusion of innovations to explain this phenomenon. Rogers found that individuals within any society fall into one of five different adopter groups based on how early or how quickly they adopt an innovation. Rogers' theory tells us that if you want to promote the widespread adoption of a new behavior like these, you need to market to each adopter group differently using distinct communication channels and messages. Let's look at each group to find out more. The innovators are a small but important group because they are always the first to learn about and adopt an innovation. They are risk-taking, adventurous, and like being on the cutting edge. The innovators are responsible for introducing innovations to the larger population because they share their experiences with their friends and communities. The early adopters are also a small forward-thinking group and are often highly respected as opinion leaders. Their endorsement of an innovation plays a key role in what we call crossing the chasm, which is when the adoption of an innovation bridges the gap between the trendsetters and the majority. About two-thirds of people in a population fall into either the early or late majority groups. The early majority take time to make decisions. They will observe others' experiences and will only adopt the product once they are convinced it has real benefits and that it is the new status quo. The late majority are more resistant to change, though they are very responsive to peer pressure. They want innovations to be very well tested and widely used before they will risk trying it. Finally, the last group to adopt a new product or innovation is called the laggards. Laggards are highly resistant to change, and they also can be hard to reach with marketing campaigns because they often have very minimal exposure to media. Laggards wait until an innovation is completely mainstream before they adopt it, and in some cases, they never do. Think of some global innovations in recent years. Social media, for example spread very fast and many people adopted it within a few years. Other innovations, such as the use of solar power, spread much more slowly and may take decades to reach widespread adoption. So the next time you're promoting a new product or behavior, consider the theory of diffusions of innovations and tailor your communication channels and messages. This will improve your chance of catalyzing widespread adoption.